can't stop. I am Andy Vegan. That's so much fun, dancing and making music. Ray tunes me in and, well, well, okay. I make a chia pudding today, another one. And I have um, tried that several times. It's, um, I come back to the very easy, um, basic recipe. I will just blend tangerines. Recently I blended oranges together with dates. Today I will just blend the tangerines. Nice, they are very delicious and tasty. Not always the case. If I buy tangerines, there's always a little risk. And I begin with a one or two or four, three or four little tangerines, take them home, tie them, and they, if they are great, I go back and get a bunch. So they are great. I have a bunch. And I have five or six of the tangerines. That's, I guess, that would be a nice quantity. They are always different size. You see that it's two, three, three cups at least. When you um, put them into small pieces here, peel them. And um, as the chia seed, the chia, chia pudding, and the chia seed is um, not very flavorful, <laughs> it tastes like nothing. <laughs> I have to put some more flavor in, and the flavor of the citrus fruit is always in the peel, in the outer peel, not the white, but the orange, that is the, um, the um, etheric oils. They contain the flavor and a lot of vitamins too and nutrients that is um, very important. It's, it's the healthiest part is always this, the peel. Of course, <laughs> we cannot eat the peel, that is just too much. But a little zest, that's very nice. So that's all I have here. That's two ingredients, I say. It's the tangerine and the peel. And I blend it. tangerines um, should make it really creamy because then it is easier to use it um, with the chia seeds when it's really creamy and runny and it's also nicer creamier as a texture um, there are a lot of firm uh, parts in the orange or in the tangerine um, and these take a little bit longer to really get them smooth The flavor is nice, yes, it is nice, and I guess it is nice enough for the chia pudding. Um, it's always a little bit tricky. Yeah? Here I show you what it looks like, because oftentimes you try, I try a new chia pudding, it tastes too little, yeah? it's too um, vague the flavor, not really interesting. Oh, so, then I have to add something. Here, I would say it's okay. I begin now with these tangerines. It is cream, a creamy, juicy tangerine um, runniness. And there are five heaping tablespoons of chia seeds. Uh, I counted five heaping tablespoons. Tablespoons is a measurement that varies a little bit from country to country, but it's the amount about. And um, in case it is too little, you notice after 10 or 15 minutes, then you just put some more in and let it sit for a longer, a little bit longer. Uh, it can sit overnight. The chia seed can also sit overnight and well, um, gel up. But it is also okay if you have it sitting for, uh, let's say, 20 minutes or half an hour or so, then you can already eat it, usually. Yeah. So um, that should be okay. And um, I will stir it now. And before I pour it into these glasses, yeah, 
for my dessert. I will put a lid on top and come back in 10 minutes or so, maybe in 20 minutes, and blend and, and stir it again. And after that, I will pour it into the glasses. I will show you how I do it. I come back in a sec. See you in a moment. That's been 10, 15 minutes. Not so sure, I did some homework here. But now it looks pretty nice. I stir a little bit again. And um, before it gels up too much, I have to pour it into the portion glasses. i show you what it looks like when I do that. One glass is enough to show you. And you see, it's pretty even. No puddles anymore. And these little guys, they will gel up a little bit more in the next half an hour or so. And even overnight, if you prefer that. And then we have very nice shea pudding. Very simple. Just two or three with the peel ingredients. You could top it with the cream or so, or just eat it as is. Chia seeds are super healthy, they're high in protein. Yeah. Seeds are usually high in protein, low in fat. As opposed to nuts, there's the other way around. There's more fat than protein. Both is there. And the nuts and the seeds are our main, one of our main parts, um, part, foods for protein and fat. Yeah. They are also, of course, in beans and so, um, and in cereals, but um, or in greens, also a lot of proteins. There are greens like broccoli or others that are high in protein. Yeah, but um, the seeds and the nuts have a lot of fat, yeah. but protein too. And the fat here in the chia seed is um, in the perfect balance. That makes the chia seed very valuable. Um, also, other things that are in there are very good minerals and vitamins uh, for our health. So it's a very good um, daily food also, like in South America, we have a countries where that chia seed comes from. They have it on a daily basis. We fly it in over long distances, so I won't eat it all the time. We have so many other seeds that are also great, but the chia seed is really very unique because it gels up and makes these little balls. Others don't do that. I can, it's the only plant I know that does it. Um, we have one other, one other plant, it's called Sago, that does the same, but um, is by far less important in our kitchen today than the chia seed. I hope you enjoyed this and experiment yourself. You can you use other plants, other fruit, other ingredients for the chia seed? I would be glad to hear about it. Um, thanks for watching, and if you like, give me a thumbs up. Or even subscribe to MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.